Oh, hi there, pluggers. I was Solfing here again with you. Thanks very much for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is a lovely number by a lady called Patty Griffin, and it's called Let Him Fly, and uh, it's been requested by one of my viewers called Dustin. Thank you very much, Dustin. Great suggestion. I'm splitting this song into two parts. The first lesson is going to be about the intro and a verse. Uh, there are three verses, I believe, uh, which are you know, musically much the same, okay? Uh, apart from the words, obviously. Uh, and then the second video will cover the middle section of the song and the outro, okay? So uh, let's get to it. I'm going to play through the intro now in a verse, okay? Hopefully, not like too many boo boos, okay? So here we go. <laughs> So you can add your own bits and pieces as you as you get into the song, okay? But that's the basics of it, okay? So uh, just go through it. I'm in D, drop D tuning, okay? Uh, so don't run away. It's not that difficult, <laughs> okay? All you have to do, I'm in mean, standard tuning apart from the sixth string, which is detuned down to D. So just detune the uh, sixth string down so it sounds like the fourth string. All the rest of the strings are standard, okay? So you end up with that. Okay, so... Okay. Right, so then it starts off, uh, basically you... So it's a hammer on the fifth string to the second fret. Then the fourth string open. And then the second fret on the fourth string, okay? Hammer up. Okay, then you slide that finger up to the 4th fret of the 4th string. And at the same time you do that, you sort of make a D shape, a partial D shape, where the 1st finger is on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, and your 2nd finger is on the 3rd uh, fret of the 2nd string. Okay, So you end up with that shape. And you just go from 6 down to 2. Okay? So it's this. <clears throat> so we do that again. Okay. So do that slowly. I'm using my uh, third finger for this hammering on because it, it makes it easier when you slide up and take the shape. Okay? Otherwise you get your fingers all over the place. Okay? So... So, so when you do that slide, hit alls, okay, hit down from 6 down to uh, 4, okay, and then strum, put those two in and strum, alright, like that, right, so we'll go from the start, that's the first lick, okay, so, Second lick's a bit different, same to start with. So that's the same. Slide up, but don't strum, okay? And then slide it back down. So it goes slides up to the fourth fret on the fourth string, and then slides back down to the second fret of the fourth string, okay? You don't really need to hit it again, really, so it's that so it slides just so it slides up and then slides back down again okay and then you uh, open fourth and then you slide it back again with the with the strum 
das heißt Two together, okay? Okay, and then the third lick is slide, hit that fourth uh, fret of the fourth, uh, fourth string, fourth string of fourth fret of the fourth string, <laughs> down to the second on the fourth. Open fourth, then you hit the second on the fifth. Okay. Okay. So we've got that so far. The three together so far are. So. Okay. Got that far. And we go to the G chord which is a bit different to what you normally play because of the tuning you have to play it like this so you've got basically your third finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string and pinky underneath on the fifth string on the fifth fret and then your first finger is basically going on the third fret of the second string <laughs> So that's so far we've got this. And there is that into it. There's a little hammer up from the third fret of the second to the fifth on the second and back again. Okay, but you can if you take that pinky off if you can and just okay. So when you get to this chord, you just basically you just pick about a bit. Okay, and then do that, and then the songs. Then basically the the singing comes in on the verse. Okay, so that's the whole intro uh, as played on her track. Which I put, I will put a link in the description box to it. Okay, so the whole thing. Okay, and then the singer comes in. I no talking to this man. Which is the first riff, okay? Okay. And then it does the first riff again for the second half of the first line. So it's and I'm talking to sorry to talk, and I'm talking to this man and to the other side. And then it goes, ain't no way to understand. Okay, so because that ain't no while you're on that uh, second line and the other side ain't no way to okay so you get the ready to slide that chord up just but you need to slide up that sixth string really from the fourth fret to the fifth fret whilst making the chord of G up Okay, so from the beginning of the singing, uh, <clears throat> I'm no talking to this man, I'm pretty outside, ain't no way to understand, stupid words of crime. It would take an acrobat, acrobat is a seventh. Straightforward A seventh with the A with the open G third string, and what it does, and what they do on her record is that. So it's A seventh to this. Um, it's like a, a, a D with a G in, in it. Okay, so it's so you've got open fifth string, 
fourth fret. So you basically move that finger up to the fourth fret from the A7 and then put a first finger on the third fret of the second string and then you play those all those strings open from five downwards okay to the first string so okay so we'll do it again I'm talking to this man and pretty side ain't no way to understand stupid words of pride it would take an acrobat I already tried all that right so that goes down and I already G tried all that which you just played previous, previously same G two fingers up here to third on the second Okay, so and it goes so it plays comes out at G and I already tried all that and it goes up to the A seventh. I'm gonna let him learn. and then just that so it hammers up from the fifth open to the second fourth open to the second on the fourth and then to the D chord and then you go to the G chord and then you do that do that again and then the second verse starts okay so we go through that whole thing again from the start this is the intro and the first verse okay so here we go again I'm talking to this man I'm pretty outside Thank you were to understand sorry Words of it would take an acrobat. I already tried all that. I've been fine. Okay, then the second verse starts. So there you have it, that's uh, lesson number one. Okay, so in the next lesson, we'll be trying, uh, going through the middle section and the very end of the song which is a little bit different yeah. okay so thanks for watching and listening and uh, i'll see you in part two okay shortly <laughs> bye for now